Hey, how far back can you remember? Like, what's the earliest thing you recall ever? When I go back to the very beginning, to the first place I even remember existing, my favorite thing was just that I was existing, and there was no evil in this world worth resisting, no bad future worth predicting, and no possibility of pain inflicting. These were simple times, and we didn't know any better. No worries about having to pay for food or shelter. And that's the way that it should have been, because in this life, there's no chance we wouldn't win. We're built up with words like, what do you want to be? The world is yours, just wait and see. You can do anything. Your future is free, because you are the future, the hope, and the key. We're all brought up to believe that we can save the world. Then you finally grow up, and you have to face the world. And we grow out of these ideal beliefs when they tell you that they're just beliefs. Now, a belief is something that you just think is true, like a story that's happening with or without you. So what happens when you spend your life holding on to this? Then you grow up, and your dreams dismissed. You are going to be the one to change the world. You are going to be the one to lead the new world order. So much of this was placed on you when you were young, and you thought there was nothing that you couldn't do. And when you hold on to this, when you get older, you're a dreamer in the world that's grown so much colder. They call you crazy, and they call you a dreamer, and you're a doormat if you don't come out meaner. So I've got to ask, why did they lie to me? Why did they tell me all along that I was the key? Now I'm here, and there's so much that I shouldn't be. That's not fair. Now get back to work, and don't try to be the one who actually does change the world, because that's crazy. Why would we ever think we could be? Or maybe, what if, just for a second, we flip the switch on these things we question? What if a lie is the life we lead now? Wait, what if they were right way back then? What if we could save the world all along when the real lies that you can't be amazing? And all this time, our legacy's just waiting for us to wake up and start going back to a simpler time when these thoughts weren't attacked and the lie is that you can't do anything. When we were kids, we already could do everything and now everyone's stuck in that story. You know, the one where there's no such thing as glory and it turns out that they're in the fairy tale. You know, the one where you grow up and are meant to fail. When I was five, the psychologist told my parents I couldn't separate fantasy from reality and I thought fairy tales were actuality and my dreams would be crushed from actuality. This is a problem that needed to be corrected. They tried to fix my brain and keep me medicated. Make me fall in line and keep me sedated and then my delusions of grandeur would then be evaded. So let's fast forward to 30 years later. Three decades of dodging naysayers and haters. You know, the ones who always try to put you down. The ones who look at you like you're the fucking clown. The ones who wish your dreams would just drown. The ones who want your hope dead and face down. These are the ones who are just projecting because they let the system just keep subjecting the doubt in themselves and in their own worth. They listened to the system and fell back in line. They let the haters tell them not to shine. The truth is that I still can't separate fantasy from reality and operate how they want. This I'm confessing and it turned out to be my biggest fucking blessing. I don't know that I can't be the key to change the world or just let my mind be free and I do not know that I can't write a song that can change the world or help one person be strong. I can write a thousand guitar riffs or even decipher alien hieroglyphs and if I want I'll make a time machine and go back in time to a time before this machine. In all I do I just want to leave a legacy not for my sense of egoic supremacy and I cannot make you see this life through my eyes or the potential that I see like infinite blue skies. Even if I write 10,000 songs and it only ever helps one person be strong I could die a happy man because I was right all along. Sure it might not change the world but for that one person maybe I changed their world and then that person went on to be the person who changed the world.